All right, guys, here's the next project. I'm pretty sure this is a 1949 Mac. It's been sitting in these woods for probably about 40 years. A uh, buddy of mine, his grandpa used it as a construction vehicle and parked it here in the late 70s. And he doesn't remember why, if it's because something happened with the motor or because he got another truck. Anyways, my plan is to dig it out and get it running. It's uh, gonna be a bit of a job because it is back in here. But there should be a path where there's small enough trees I can cut down, get a winch and drag it out. But uh, biggest problem, I've been clearing some of the space around it, making a bit of a path. Biggest issue is back here because that tree is growing right between the two axles. It's a dual axle truck. Uh, however, if I cut it down, I should be able to chisel out everything in between the axle. Uh, if I look inside, you can see. I can actually get the shift lever to move around a little bit. And the clutch returns, believe it or not. Uh, it says it has 70,000 miles. As you can see, that seat's gone. However, that uh, window there is the only one that's broken. All the other windows are solid, so luckily it's kept a lot of the weather out. Um, it's still got the motor in it. Looks like, I think, from the research I'd done, these uh, have Cummins in them. Uh, who knows the status of that. Uh, I'll see if I can get the hood open. Right now they're kind of rusted shut, so I'm going to get some WD-40 see if I can open it up. But uh, this is going to be fun. If I can actually get this back on the road, that would be pretty monumental. And it's just a cool truck, so uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, several months later and we're back at the Mack truck. It's fall now. It's a crappy day. But today's goal is to get all the trees cut out from around it and find a clear path out to the path that'll take us to the street. So it's a big tree. Let's see what we can get done. All right, end of day one. Basically what got done here is we took down all the stuff that was basically kind of in the way of the truck in the way of that's the big tree. That's the thing that's going through. So we wanted to make sure when we fell this tree, it has a clear path. So we've just been getting the most space we can around it. We'll cut these off with the stumps eventually, but so that's the that's the big issue. It's going right through there. But my thinking is once I cut it down at the base there, I can just vertical cut it and split it off of the frame. At least that's the goal. Uh, the thing's 20 foot long, which is actually kind of shorter than I thought, but as you can see, it's sitting down probably a good half foot at least. So this truck, truck's going to sit much higher. But uh, let me give you a quick shot of the engine. So here's the engine, mostly intact. Um, I don't know what motor it is. I really don't have any idea. I think these came with Cummins. And this is a straight six with a flathead. It's a flathead six, but... Um, I'm just not real familiar with these Mack trucks, so if anyone out there knows, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to get any more information I can. Um, but it's mostly intact. If it'll ever run again, uh, I'd say it's the chances are low. But once I get out of the woods, I'm definitely going to try. So, But if anyone has any information on what this truck engine is, I'd love to know. And of course, let's take a quick shot of the interior. Only the driver's door opens. I just put a board in there. But it's pretty cool. It was green in here, you can tell. Uh, the steering wheel actually turns the wheels, that's good. All the gauges are in there, which is pretty cool. Um, I know it looks like it's got a two-speed rear end because it's got two shifters. Shifter's kind of loose. Uh, these seats have deteriorated because that window's broken, but that's the only broken window, so it's not terrible. I can see the <laughs> there's definitely a big hole in the floor. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to dive into that too far. It looks like it had a wooden floor. Um, at least someone put one in there at some point, but uh, so definitely rust. This is a huge project, but I'm not going to let this truck just deteriorate into the ground. So uh, we'll be back next time. Uh, if I get a better shot of it here, you can see there's where we're parked 
but uh it's a pretty sweet old rig so i'm gonna do everything in my power to get it out of these woods uh weather is about as worse as it could possibly be on this day it was about 30 degrees warmer yesterday now it's snowing uh so we're gonna come back regroup hopefully on a better day we'll fell that tree growing in between the uh, axles try to get a cut out of there and see if i can't even just jack the front of the truck up get it up out of the ground so it's not sitting in those holes and then uh kind of go from there depending i'm sure those wheels are stuck so we need a big winch but uh for, that's all for today but i'll be back uh with part two when we work on cutting those trees down and seeing if we can drag this truck out of the woods thanks for watching